What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we are four weeks out from the uh, Delaware State and five weeks out from the Sean Wright. Weighed in this morning at 197 pounds, which weight is consistently still going down, which I want to get down to probably about 193 or 192, somewhere around there. So that when I car back up, I'll still be under that 198 cutoff for the light heavies. I'm starting to get tired forget things. As a matter of fact, the other day, this is what happens sometimes in prep, is I was training back. And when I was done training back, I realized that workout was kind of fast. Hmm, maybe it's just me being in prep. I'm not really noticing what's going on. Whatever. And like 2.30 in the morning, I realized, oh shit, I forgot to do chin-ups. I actually forgot to do, I only do two back exercises. I actually forgot to do one of them. And that's, you know, pretty common when you get what they call the diet brain. So that's what's going on with the prep update. And before we get into the increasing metabolism part two, I just want to reach out for one second and say thank you to Kevin Clements. Now, Kevin's a BioS3 channel subscriber, and he's now a Facebook friend, Instagram friend. Uh, his Instagram, maybe just Facebook, but I think Instagram too. And I got a message, an email that said, you have a gift. So I opened up the email and it said, Kevin Clements has donated money in your name to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital of Cancer Research. So, you know, I was kind of confused. I was like, what? I didn't donate it. He donated money in my name. So I contacted him on Facebook. I said, hey, man, um, you know, I appreciate the donation, but you didn't have to do that. And flat out, Kevin said that, uh, you know, he gets a lot out of the videos that I put up. He knows I'm not making any money from it, and I'm not getting paid to do it. So his way of giving back was to donate money to the Children's Cancer Institute, which that's awesome. Okay, let's face facts. You know, it's going to a good cause. It's not going to me, which is just fine with me. And uh, he didn't have to do that. So Kevin, I appreciate that. That was very cool on your part. Thank you very much. Now moving on to increasing metabolism part two. Now I'm going to say this guy's name because this is not a, a slander. This is not a bash. And it actually may be more of a kind of an enlightening thing. We're going to talk about Lane Norton for a second. Now some of you guys may be going, here he goes with Lane. Now he would have to say first. Now my girlfriend winds up finding these different videos through uh, different like Facebook groups she's in, forums, stuff like that. All the girls kind of talk about different things. They watch different videos and they discuss things about what they see and read on metabolism, dieting, training, stuff like that. So when she hears of something, she'll bring it to me and say, hey, what do you think of this? That's how I found the Ian McCarthy video, the original one with him and Dave Pulsanello. She had seen it through someone that had told her about it and she told me about it. So she tells me about Lane's new video about carbohydrate metabolism. And... It's not the first time she's told me that. Lane and I actually agree on a lot of things, which, you know, his may be based on science, mine may be based on bro science, but somehow we both come to the same conclusions with a lot of things. And one thing that I've seen change is Lane no longer calls metabolic damage metabolic damage. He calls it metabolic adaptation. And he also talks in this video about how metabolic adaptation can not just be a bad thing when you're going down in calories, but as you increase your calories, your metabolism speeds up to the new calories and very frequently he can take someone's metabolism over time and he's saying a long period of time now to me 12 to 18 weeks it's a long period of time let's face fact it's four or five months and increase their metabolism and I had all these people jumping all over me that it's impossible you cannot increase metabolism you need to cut calories you need to do this you need to do that and he just said the same thing that I said the guy that you're following that you bust my balls about just said the same thing he said that some people can tolerate carbohydrate, more carbohydrates than others, which is exactly what I said. It's all individual. Some people are going to be able to eat 150 grams of carbs. Some people are going to be able to eat 400. Some people will maintain their weight. Now, what does that mean? Because in my view, you're either getting fat or getting lean. You're doing one of those two things. If you're stagnant and that's where you want to be, great. But if you're eating 700 grams of carbs like some of these guys claim that are on my page and they're posting pictures of themselves and not even lean, well, what good is that 700 grams? Maybe you're overdoing it, okay? He also said that there are going to be some people that could grow off 150 grams of carbs where other ones would have to take in more. And he also agreed that the ketogenic diet, which they were talking about with carbohydrate metabolism, may be the component of the high protein rather than the fats that's in it because they did an isocaloric diet research with both of them together. So basically, you get protein synthesis from the high protein diet and you can speed up your metabolism by slowly increasing the calories. That's what I said. So why you guys jumped all over me doesn't make any fucking sense. 
Because, I mean, he does have the research to back it up. So he can spit out all the, you know, the studies, the research, the links, what papers, what doctors did it. That's fine. But the bottom line is, whatever I stumbled upon in my bro science ways is the same thing that he knows about that he learned about through, you know, reading about it or working with other doctors or whatever it is. So the bottom line is we both wound up at the same place, taking two different ways to get there. And anybody who knows anything about me knows I kind of do things my way. I do it my own way. I don't necessarily follow what someone else says, but I do usually wind up coming out with the same result or at least a good result before, you know, I wind up going to a great result while figuring something else on my own. So I guess what I'm trying to get at, it doesn't really matter how you learn as long as you learn to get there and get to the same point that you guys are both on the same thing. Now I'm realizing, you know, at, you know, Lane may not be as this big dickhead that I thought he was. Now, is he, does he have an ego? Some people will say he has an ego, whatever. But the bottom line is, you know, he turned his opinion from metabolic damage to metabolic adaptation, which um, Lyle McDonald made a very good point. And he also is talking about how increasing metabolism can happen, where a lot of these other guys are like, calories in, calories out, just keep cutting. So he's basically explaining how hormonal manipulation through protein and carbs in fats and insulin can stimulate protein synthesis. That's not calories in, calories out. He's also talking about how you don't need 100 grams of carbs after your workout to spike insulin levels. I only take about 35 grams after my workout in the off season. Now it's 10 grams. I'm still having that protein synthesis because I'm not losing muscle while I'm dieting. So all the things he's saying, I do the same thing, but I don't have the resources to back it up. Now, if you want to hear what he has to say, link to his video. It's called uh, Carbohydrate Metabolism or something like that. It's his newest video. It's on a vlog, video blog, vlog number 18 or something like that. And that will explain to you guys who need to have the science stuff what I'm talking about. He can explain it to you a little bit better. So... I guess Lane and I are kind of more on the same wavelength than we thought. So at this point, I mean, I can't listen to what he says and disagree with it, nor can I argue or bitch about it because it's pretty much the same thing that I feel. I just didn't read the research to back it up. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. www.biosetraining.com is the blog. And we're out.